you know, tree damage can happen at any time of the year, but especially in a winter time after we have a heavy snow or some ice or even strong winds, you might go out to your garden and see a limb that's got this done to it. And the, you know, the first thought is that we just cut them off, but there really is a specific way to cut them so you don't cause even more damage to the tree. Right, and it's called the three cut pruning technique. And so the first cut is always an undercut. And what that does is relieves the pressure from the limb. And then when you, when you do make the final cut, it doesn't cut the whole bark doesn't strip off and strip into the good part of the tree. Yeah. And then the second cut is always away from that undercut because you want to take off all that weight before you make the third and final cut. Yeah. So I'm going to start here, but we're going to go through this and we're going to come back in a couple minutes and show you what happens. So William took over because I got tired, but he's almost done and here it's nice and clean cut and it took all the weight off of the damaged piece and so we can get ready to make the third and final cut was at the collar of the tree and you can kind of see where it's kind of bumped out because that's where the hormones of the tree are going to come out and actually heal over that wound and you can see this one over here of this scar that was done several years ago and the, the tree actually comes around and forms almost like a scab and covers up that scar from the branch that was taken off. So I'm going to start cutting this last cut and we'll see what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, Judy. Oh, beautiful there it job. Is. Well, and, and if you look at this, Judy, this is really nice because the collar is still fine. Mm -hmm. So that means it'll grow around like the example we showed earlier on this tree. And really it is very healthy for the tree. Now, a couple of things. If you have a large limb that's mm. broken, we, we suggest you get an arborist to do this because it's they're very heavy, even this one might not look that big, but it's really got some heft to it. Now, if they're small or, you know, if they're about maybe the size of your arm, tackle mm -hmm. them. But even if they're really up high, you might want to think about getting some help. You know, that's really the best thing to do is make sure that you're safe and then also that the health of the tree is involved. So make sure you use that three cut pruning technique.